Okay, big group, I hope. Yeah. Here they come. I'm just looking at... <laughs> and the mini bus will depart from Shire Hall at 11 a.m. So have... That, that is the 25th of January. Personally, I have no difficulty in accepting the resolution as put to us uh, by the officers. Um, I see this as something that's going to do one thing, and one thing only, is to establish whether there's oil there or not. Um, it's, uh, on the it's the government's views of the way in which we should judge these particular... We surely are not yet so desperate for oil yeah. that we have to violate this very sensitive site. It's in the Green Belt. It's a special landscape important of importance. And it is part, very hard, as I said, of our national inheritance. That the motion be rejected, Chairman. Yeah, the motion be rejected. Yeah. Three, Chairman. Three. Those four? Against, rather. <coughs> Outrageous. Outrageous. Nine, Chairman. Well, my fear is the fact that this is just a thin end of the wedge, and that if oil is found, as it probably will be, uh, they'll want to get it out. They won't want to just leave it there having spent all this money on, exp on exploration. Uh, 100 million barrels of oil has been mentioned. That's an awful lot of oil, an awful lot of money. And the company is not going to leave it there. In my opinion, they're going to pull every string they can to get it out. I don't see any real problems in the environment because they can confine it, the engineering and the techn technological methods they can use today won't give any real problems. Yes, I am concerned because it's a beautiful place, but if it can be done without damage to it, we need the oil, we need the money. I think it would be dreadful because it's just a way of making money and it will ruin the whole castle. And if there's any sign of commercialism, like uh, drilling for oil, I think that would be a pity. Because it's a very historic town and that's what people like to see.